Hello, hello! What's up, YouTube family? My name is Srinivas Ganesh and welcome to my channel. So, this video was long overdue. A video each and every individual part that I have installed. I'll tell you everything about it. So, without further ado, let's get to it. This is my prized possession. So, I'll start off with the front and I'll gradually go towards the back. So these are headlight brackets which I've got for 3370 rupees, 3370 rupees from kspeed.net and then I have got this um, Hitchcox USB holder which is for 4000 rupees, fits in very nicely and then I've got these kspeed levers which are of 4100 rupees they have six point adjustable and they are very very good in terms of my grip reach and then these these small screw i mean hold on these small screws which you see these black ones these i got for 454 rupees to close the oem mirror holes which just looks a bit more neat now as you can see a lot of people have been commenting about what kind of handlebar is this what kind of handlebar is this like really so it's not something I have customized or painted. this is a Royal Enfield Himalayan handlebar that I've installed it comes in powder coated black and it's pretty neat pretty tidy right and then let's go on to here everybody would have seen videos of these this these are Kemimoto bar and mirrors and the bar and mirrors are for 2500 rupees yes this is from Amazon US I was lucky enough that a friend of mine was coming from the US and he got these for me also before I forget I have to pay a duty on these the levers and these brackets and the duty was of about 2200 rupees and then I've got a compact engine guard which is of 2800 rupees I mean this is exactly what it says it's an engine guard it is not a leg guard so I have had a minor accident on this and this did a beautiful job of protecting the engine but nothing whatsoever on for my leg so yeah get it also I have got a stump guard on here which is for 2000 rupees this comes from Royal Enfield only and it is absolutely essential when you are driving on Indian roads it really helps you a lot and then I've got these fork gaiters also this didn't come standard I had to buy these from Royal Enfield and I think it costed me about 800 rupees or so and also I've got like for the time being these tiny indicators here and I plan to change these because these are pointed towards the side, not towards the front, which is not really good. So yeah, I'll, I'll change these. And then also, I've got Outex tubeless kit on the tires, which I can't unfortunately show you right now, but they costed me about 13,000 rupees, which is every bit worth it. Like, I can't imagine having a tube tire on Indian roads because as soon as it goes punctured you are you're screwed completely so yeah it's a pretty good thing I've installed it I think about a year and a half ago and still now I have had no problems whatsoever then coming up this is my favorite part of it this is the night eye headlight which is of, again 2000 rupees it sits on like this And I have had cane and air filter here, which is of 4,990 rupees. And because I have these custom LED indicators, I also installed a 10 watt flasher in here, which is about 200 rupees. Also, there is an air filter plate in here, which is about 550 rupees, which is every bit worth it. <clears throat> and then also, this is also a bit of customization that I've done. It's a black. Um, oil cap only I think it's called um, black reservoir cap which it comes from the 
you can purchase this from the Royal Enfield showroom. It, it'll cost you about 700 rupees. I also had a brace pad for here, which costed me about um, 600 rupees. But again, that brace pad was compatible with the OEM handlebars, not the Himalayan one. So I have not put it on in here. There is also a booster plug under the seat, which costed me 4,850 rupees. And then there's a premium touring seat, which costed me about 4,350 rupees. And then of course, this is also a very good addition. It really helps your hands to relax on long journeys. These are grip puppies. These costed me about 3,000 rupees. Every bit of it is worth it. You, you need those. This was a gift that was given to me by Abhinav. And I don't know how much are these for. And there is also a custom rubber underneath the fuel cap. I'll show you that also. Hang on. Because what happens is the OEM uh, fuel cap just it just gets cut automatically. These are from Road Power Customs, and these will last a fair bit more than the OEM ones. This costed me about twelve hundred rupees. Hang on. Yeah, twelve hundred rupees, which was pretty good. And then the cowl costed me of I think about twenty two hundred rupees. But the custom paint job costed me about 6,000 rupees, which is every bit of it is worth it. Look at that, it just matches it. There's also these beauties right here. These are from Powerage. These are short stainless steel exhausts. They are sound beautiful and they costed me about 14,990 rupees. There is also a liver shoe here which I really love. Fun fact, this really helps to keep your shoe in pristine conditions. So I really love this one. It cost, this costed me about, I think, 150 rupees or so. This is a very important addition, if you ask me. And then, what else do I have here? There's a GoPro mount, which is pretty standard. I think it costed me about 1500 rupees, one five. This is also a custom part, which is, I think it's costing me about 800 rupees also. This is oil filler cap. And these are intake cover valves also. I purchased extra, these, they don't come in black. So that's also there. I have also purchased a dart fly screen for this. It cost me about 8,234 rupees. But then again, because it's an imported item, I had to again pay a customs duty of 2200 rupees. I haven't installed it yet, but a video of that is gonna come pretty soon. A few of you have asked me as to how the headlights look. Take a look at yourself. They are pretty bright. That's the low beam actually. And that's the high beam. They really light up the road. And for those who are asking what is, what is my height, my height is what, 90 centimeters, it's 6 foot 2 and how do I look on this motorcycle? So this is one. I get easily flat foot on the floor and my reach is about this big on the motorcycle because and these are a bit short handlebars. I think in the future I would definitely install some risers over here, one inch risers which makes the handlebars position slightly upright which will be more helpful in touring and uh, that's that's about it and then these are of course in stand without the stand i can easily flat foot it no questions asked and the reach is like this much and it doesn't tie me out at, at all so that's a pretty good thing and these handlebars are pretty good if the camera can just come here and then show them it's it's pretty good and of course it's not that aggressive as a continental gt one because then you have to crouch down that much but it's very good this is how it looks and i think that's about it i've covered pretty much everything if i've missed out on anything do let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you asap <clears throat> thank you so much for watching Thank you so much.